all on my lane. You all on my lane. You ain't overlooked. So get out the way. I gave you the book. I gave you the game. The boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like you mean, no. Plenty bitchin', whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a C no. Switch it, keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Now today we're making these delicious black bean burgers. So we got two cans of 15 ounce, well two 15 ounce cans of black beans and we got them rinsed and drained. Um, make sure you rinse them and drain them because you don't want that, um, that starchy liquid on these black beans. Um, but the step we're gonna do is we're gonna separate them. So we're gonna separate like one can and one can. So one can I'ma actually place into the oven. And this is what's gonna give us that beautiful texture to those black bean burgers. Um, by doing this trick right here, the black bean burgers would not be mushy. It's gonna have some integrity um, when it comes to the beans. So you're gonna have some mush, but then you're gonna have some whole beans. So make sure you don't skip this step because that's a very important step to keep your burgers from being mushy. And the other half, we're gonna just mash them up with a fork. You don't wanna mash them up too fine, but just mash them up um, fairly decent with a fork. All right, so we already got our black beans set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the prep on our inside. So uh, we gotta have some flavor elements because you know we gotta make these black beans taste like a burger. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a whole bell pepper and you can roast your bell pepper off. I didn't roast mine because I'm a saute it, but um, just dice you up some bell pepper. Also um, dice you up a yellow onion and you don't have to dice them up fine. You, just want to want them to be um, equal uh, even um, because you are going to saute them or sweat them down and um, so I'm just doing the small dice for both um, like I said it's your preference you can make the dice bigger smaller it's up to you um, but once we get that onion diced up we're going to stick that onion and bell pepper inside of a bowl and then we're going to also get us some garlic working um, and when you see the garlic you'll see that um, I wasn't playing. Um, I want this thing to be very flavorful. Not only am I putting fresh garlic in this burger, I'm also going to put some granulated garlic in this burger. So um, it's very good. And we're still playing off the whole Southwestern theme. So very Tex Mexy. But um, you see, I put a lot of garlic into this burger. I think like six cloves. But going back, we're going to mix our um, black beans that we roasted off gonna mix them with those mashed black beans and that's gonna be flavor town and textured up so yeah and then we're gonna go down with a little olive oil into a pan saute pan and we're gonna go in with our peppers and onions make sure you hold off on the garlic because the garlic is gonna cook last um, I season it with a little salt just to bring out that moisture and then I popped it on the paper towel because I want it to be dry before I add it to my mix then we're going in about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce followed by two teaspoons of garlic I mean that's granulated garlic two teaspoons of onion powder then we did about two teaspoons of cumin ground cumin there we go then we did um, two teaspoons of Southwestern seasoning and that Southwestern seasoning is Emerald Lagasse seasoning so check out his website and you'll get that down there then we did two teaspoons of chili powder and then two teaspoons of slappy mama and then we're going in with our peppers and onions like I said Emerald Lagasse makes some incredible Southwestern seasoning I just followed the recipe from his website if you want that you can go to the website and check it out and get that recipe um, then I put an egg in here also um, since I had um, medium eggs I went ahead and added two eggs but you didn't see me add the other one so it's two eggs into this mixture and then I threw some good quality feta cheese in there and that's gonna give us some flavor as well as kind of bind it together a little bit and then I went in with whole wheat breadcrumbs and that's whole wheat panko breadcrumbs um, yes they do exist and they are at the store so make sure you get them whole wheat panko breadcrumbs and I got whole wheat because I'm doing whole wheat buns so this burger right here 
it's not vegan, but it's 100% vegetarian. So um, to make it vegan, all you have to do is omit the eggs, add in a flax egg, and omit the feta, and add in vegan feta. But and also the Worcestershire sauce. But you know, you can add in some tamari um, to get some of those same flavor elements. So I have measured these burgers out with a third of a cup. I feel like that was the perfect size for those burgers. And you don't have to worry about shrinkage because this is not ground beef, it's not gonna shrink. All right, and this is one of the other keys to this uh, recipe. Um, we got some slutty vegan plant-based bacon. Yeah, I said slutty vegan plant-based bacon. This bacon is 100% vegan and it's low sodium. Um, very great taste, incredible, incredible, incredible. So I pop those in the oven. The burgers are gonna cook maybe 13 minutes and that bacon is gonna cook in about eight minutes. So make sure you keep an eye on that. And then we're gonna go slice up a tomato. I use the Roma tomato, but you can use a, a regular tomatoes, pretty much your preference. Then got some good quality lettuce and this is iceberg. You can use romaine if you want to, but it's kind of been a shortage of romaine around here lately. Um, so iceberg works just as fine. And I also got some pickles and you see those whole wheat buns. But yeah, I got some pickles um, because I like that acidity note that pickles give me when it comes to a burger. So we're going on with some regular mayo. Um, you can use light mayo, you can use vegan mayo, pretty much your preference, but we got some regular light mayo. Uh, we're going on with our iceberg lettuce. Got our tomatoes there. We're going to throw a little salt on them. You know, you got the season. Every layer has flavor when it comes to my burgers. So just being real. Then we're going on with our black bean patty. And we got that topped with some good quality provolone cheese. You can use uh, pepper jack. You can use cheddar. You can use American. Pretty much your preference. Then we're going to go on with that vegan bacon. Followed by those nice tomatoes. I mean, followed by those nice pickles. Sorry about that. I said tomatoes. I'm thinking about tomatoes. But those pickles. And look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. <sighs> man. Man, you can't get that nowhere else. I'm telling you, man. This is by far the most incredible black bean burger you will ever have in your life. And I'm being real. Just throwing it out there. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm out.